Is that it? I think we did it! The moment God vanished, something unusual was brought about to the other world. As you awaken, you were on a hillside overlooking Duhan. Snow covering the town in white had passed. Duhan was released from the chains of God. However, an emptiness overwhelms your mind and body. Beautiful light twinkled as if it was scoffing at you. That was the recurrence of souls. You reached out into the light in hopes of seeking a soul. Miraculously, on your fingertips appeared a sacred silhouette. Atelier! You eventually tried to protect. You tried to protect, but eventually lost that person. I thank you. You are my guard. You've set me free from that god. And protected me of my dignity. Awkward grammar, but we're out of scrolling. Therefore, do not shed your tears. Blue sky spread about, allowing rays of light to warm the land. The sky attracted your eyes to it. Let us gaze together at the beautiful sky of Duhan. The sky that you were to view with Sophia. You could faintly hear her singing from the sky afar. We did it! I think we did it! Credits! That was Wizardry Tale of the Forsaken Land. We did it, we beat the game. That was awesome. Uh, I didn't even really intend to beat the game this time. We didn't get all the quests. We didn't get the uh, complete weapon item shops quest. We didn't get the um, all of the uh, vellums. But that's okay. 
that was that was a blast. I haven't beaten the dungeon crawler quite like this in, in a long time. Um, three hour mark for the session tonight, but you know what? That's worth it. We be, got got through the game. Okay, so final thoughts on Wizardry: Tale of the Forsaken Land. Let's just gotta push the door closed for a second because other people in the house are trying to go to bed. So, as we kind of noticed at the tail end there, there are some translation hiccups in this game that make things rough, to put it mildly, um, in terms of dialogue and that sort of thing. Um, additionally, like, actually, I will honestly say, um, Actually, this is less of a, actually, this is, I wouldn't describe this as a minus, I'd describe this as a plus. Game clear save right here. You know, like, I will say, um, having beaten this, if you're gonna make your first, um, a game, your first wizardry, this ain't a bad one to go with. Not in the slightest. Um, game, like, has a ton of little quality of life improvements to it that really just make it work better for recurring play, or, like, for, for, for newer players. Like, the whole, um, assist abilities thing of building trust among your party members and all that sort of stuff. Um, that legitimately makes the game more enjoyable, and enjoyable, but, but more navigable, I guess is the better way of putting it. Um, it makes things work a little more smoothly. There's a lot more stuff going on in terms of, um, let's put this best. Um, those abilities let you um, manage fights better. Um, small level monster fights work, let you plow through them more smoothly. Um, for like with dealing with some of the demon fights and that sort of thing. Without them, particularly with stuff like the crisscross ability, those would be significantly more of a slog. And in terms of like chipping away pieces of damage, it, it makes Consequently, in turn, it makes it where the level bosses, when you start fighting them more often as regular enemies later in the game, they are more manageable as opponents under those circumstances. I'm going to turn down the um, game audio since we're in the final thoughts section. And other than that, um, though, the game really should, like, could stand to be better when it comes to managing things like when you start having significant class level differences. Um, I understand that you need to click, like, particularly once you've unlocked the monster part shop, um, that would help. I'd also particularly like it if, it, if we didn't have to go to the dungeon itself for the monster part shop. Um, if it was just in town. Because it makes for a awkward detour. I understand part of the reason why they're doing it from a narrative standpoint. Um, but it's... Um, it, it... turns that quest into much more overt busy work to do that portion of the, of the story. Other than that, um... That was a blast! That was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I've been wanting to just get through this game for quite some time in terms of like, not in the sense of, oh, I just want to end it get, and, and stop playing it, but in the sense of like, this was a game that was on my to playlist for a while and I'm glad I finally got around to doing it and had the stream as an incentive to get through with it. So that's it. Thank you all. The, thank you all for watching. 
Um, I appreciate all of you. Um, new game next week. Maybe I haven't decided what my next game is going to be yet. Um, I don't know if I want to do another RPG right away. I'm kind of trying to alternate between RPGs and, you know, more level-based structure games. Um, uh, I haven't decided what they'll be yet. I've gotten a PlayStation 5 and a Xbox Series X, but I'm not going to be doing games on those necessarily quite yet. Partially because I need to upgrade some of my streaming hardware to handle 4K. Um... And so I'll probably may end up going through another PS2 game. Um, not sure if it's going to be Beautiful Joe 2, or if I'm going to do something like, say, for example, um, probably more anime themed, like well, Beautiful Joe got an anime. Uh, so, but something like uh, Zone of the Enders for example. Uh, but something with a more conventional structure to it. Um, stay tuned to find out what I do next. I might just do it. I might do like a test stream or something on my console to like from other new consoles to Twitch and just to see how that works out. Um, but we'll, we'll see how that goes from there. I, I might just try to do some test streaming with the resolution turned down to uh, 1080p just so it'll work on my existing hardware. I won't, I won't take, be able to take full advantage of the capacity, but then again, the con that again, um, uh, Twitch can't, doesn't stream 4K yet anyway. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.